we need to find a degree 3 polynomial whose leading coefficient is 2 and zeros are at negative 4 and 2i. Now if you look at here you have two zeros given but we're looking for degree 3 polynomial. We know from our previous lecture that if I have a I have an imaginary zero, then it will come in conjugate pairs. Or if I had third root, like irrational number root, that also will come in pairs. So how we start working on this problem? Let us look at zeros first. So we list the zeros. We have x equals negative 4, x equals 2i, and x equals negative 2i. So from this, we get factors like this. x plus 4 is a factor x minus 2i is a factor, x plus 2i are factors. So the polynomial will be px, which is leading coefficient is 2, so you can keep a 2 in front, write the factor, x plus 4, x minus 2i, x plus 2i. Now, if they ask that find the polynomial with real coefficients then we have to simplify this one so first you look at here these are complex conjugate and we have learned in previous sections that x plus a i and x minus a i will give me simply x squared plus a squared with the conjugates so if we follow that one we have x plus 4 and then this one will be x square plus a is 2 square will be 4. Further, if you foil it, you get 2. Now x, x square will be x to the 3 plus 4x plus 4x squared plus 16. Now if you distribute this 2, you get 2x to the 3 plus I'm writing this one in order 8x squared, then this one 8x plus 32. So this is our polynomial with real coefficients. We're taking another example. It says factor this polynomial, which is a cubic polynomial. You can do it many different ways. The first one you see is cubic, so you can search for one rational zero. So the possible rational zeros for this problem will be coming from 8, and we see how it is. You may take help from your graphing calculator to see if we have any rational zeros. So we graph this one in our standard window. Let me go with zone 6. So I can see I have a 0 here. So let us see what is that 0. Second, trace, 2 is 0. We need to use our left bound, left side, enter, move it to the right side enter so as we have expected that sum will come from here if we have any rational zeros so we got negative 2 is a rational 0 now we can use our synthetic division to get other zeros so we have found graphically that x equals negative 2 is a 0 so we put a negative 2 and then list the coefficients x to the 3 has 1 x squared has 4 x has 8 and the constant term is 8. So the synthetic division says you pull that first term here, multiply by negative 2, put it here, add them, gives you 2, again multiply with this, you get negative 4, add them, it's 4, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, and when you add, this is 0 expected. That remainder should be 0. We said x equals negative 2 is a 0. Now remaining is 1 times x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. So we don't need to write 0. We just want to write our polynomial as this. You see, we have x equals negative 2. That was a 0. So when I write as a factor, it will be x plus 2. So when you compare with this, you get a equals 2, b equals 2 from here, and c equals 4. We are done. Thank you.